why was Andrew Tate recently banned from TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook? What's up, everybody? My name's Mark Casera, hailing to you from right outside of Nashville, Tennessee, soon to be Dallas, Texas. We want to talk about Andrew Tate. I recently did a video talking about who he is, what his net worth is, what are some of his world views. Now, while I, full disclaimer, do not agree with everything the guy says, he does make some valid points. But why was he recently banned from Facebook and Instagram? Well, let's check it out. Now, in a recent article from NPR News, they stated that Meta, the parent company of Facebook and Instagram, confirmed that Tate has been banned from their platforms for violating its policies regarding dangerous individuals and organizations and hate speech. Tate, who is 35, had garnered 4.7 million followers on Instagram before Meta took action. TikTok also reported that the company has permanently banned his account as well. Now, for those of you who don't know, Andrew Tate originally gained a lot of interest for getting kicked off the reality show Big Brother for fighting a female. Now, Andrew Tate has defended himself by saying the footage was edited to make him look bad, and he denies all allegations. Now, I'm not here to tell you whether Andrew Tate is a good citizen or not, but I am here to tell you that you should do your own research and watch a couple of his videos and gather your own opinion. What I am trying to convey in this particular video is the fact that social media has a lot of control. Now, Andrew Tate isn't the only one that has been banned from social media platforms in the past, and there's been a large outcry that is stating that many of these social media platforms are biased and attacking their free speech. Now, many of you can remember past President Donald Trump also being banned from a number of these platforms. Now, in no way am I comparing Andrew Tate to Donald Trump. Now, I believe free speech is the thing to question here. Does the person have a right to say what he wants to say without being afraid of being censored and cut off, considering we live in a free country? Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think we have an issue with Andrew Tate being a threat to young men or a misogynistic pig. I wholeheartedly believe that we have an issue with censorship and freedom of speech. If they can ban Andrew Tate for saying something that they don't like, what's stopping them from banning you for saying something that they don't like? Now, lastly, entrepreneur and influencer Patrick Bet David recently tweeted, Tate is a threat to young men, question mark. Is Hugh Hefner a threat to young men? Is Cardi B a threat to young women? Is Lil Nas X a threat to young boys? And is Khamenei a threat to the world? And he goes on to say, the truth is, no one should be banned and all should be heard. Now, the biggest problem we face is that these social media sites are not government-run sites, which means the First Amendment doesn't necessarily apply here. These social media sites are private entities, which means that they can take down or ban anybody that they see fit if they do not abide by their particular set of rules. Now, again, this brings us back to the point of social media being too powerful. That these main platforms where most of the people in the world hang out have so much control that they can censor one or two people and completely wipe out a majority voice without any consequences. We saw this in the past presidential elections and a number of other historical events. Now, many people are still pointing out that the Al-Qaeda is still allowed on these platforms and they're propagating their terrorist activities while some of the main voices in the United States and other countries are being banned for various reasons. Now, Facebook, Twitter, and Google have been under heavy scrutiny recently for giving voice to terrorist cells, while on the other hand, banning presidential figures and other influencers in our country. Now, I'm sure at some point, the algorithm will pick up this video and probably suppress it because we're talking about these issues. So I'll ask you wholeheartedly to please click the like button and subscribe. That'll at least help bump this video up so that more eyes can see it. If you'd like to further support the channel, go ahead and share this to your social media profiles. Thank you so much for being a part of my community. And remember to live loud, laugh louder, and learn to be a better you. We'll see you in the next video. God bless.